WOI-TV, first in educational television, Ames. What a lovely oh, evening. Esmeralda's upstairs car. beating the drums. Carry type A home in a jar. At the beginning, we had um, sound effects of thunder and rain and a wolf howling in the distance. And, oh, to set the mood. Viewers in central Iowa in the 60s and 70s had a howling good time watching WOI-TV's Gravesend Manor. We would do the wraparounds for Dracula, the mummy, Frankenstein, whatever it was. I was Malcolm the butler who took care of the library, movie library at the master's uh, domicile. You never saw the master. He was too horrible to see, you know. Oh, yes, there's quite a water hazard over there. Claude was supposedly uh, created by the master, and um, he was kind of uh, uh, Malcolm's sidekick on the show. Everything was Claude, you idiot, from Malcolm, and uh, and I think in probably in reality Claude was probably smarter than Malcolm was. No, Claude, don't. Night, one moment, you are too impatient, idiot. Somewhere along the line, someone decided that Claude needed a girlfriend. I said, Well, I'd do it. So I thought, well, I'm young enough, or I was then, that uh, I'll do just a little bit of, uh, I'll do some pratfall. Hey, Esmeralda, our friends are here. What are you here. doing? Hey, Malcolm, you're raising too much dust. Oh, Quick for the house cleaning. Esmeralda! <laughs> hey, Esmeralda! Oh. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I think we've got to do that again. The Duke of Desmodus. And the Duke, of course, I conceived of as somebody who, I wanted people not to know, <clears throat> was he really a vampire or just think he was? He was pretty crazy, you know. All of the main characters on Gravesend were station employees. They've all gone on to other jobs now. John Voigt, Esmeralda, is mayor of Ankeny. The only video that remains of this show is a series of outtakes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. I must limber up just a moment first. <clears throat> oh, this will be a hole in one. 